Wow, I'm surprised you made it this far. Allow me to confirm the crimes you've committed thus far. You had suspicions that this world was dangerous, yet you threw Mayumi Yamano into the TV. Knowing full well that Miss Yamano died here, you did the same to Saki Konishi. <sighs> Not only that, but you duped Namatame into taking over your murder attempts while you watched like a spectator at a game. When the disappeared stopped dying, you sent a warning letter to ensure more victims. Even when a copycat killer arose, you had the gall as a detective to eliminate a suspect under investigation. Two people died in the last six months, and a young girl is now in critical condition. But if at any turn something had gone wrong, many more would have succumbed. All for some foolish excitement, like a criminal reveling in the chaos he creates. Yeah? So what's your point? All I did was put people in here. To hell with that! If at any turn something had gone wrong, all for some foolish excitement, like a criminal reveling in the chaos he creates. Yeah? So what's your point? All I did was put people in here. It's the world that really kills them, isn't it? This world reflects people's thoughts. Which, oh dear, does that mean the real culprits are everyone on the outside, including you? To hell with that! You did that stuff knowing full well those people were gonna die! If that's not a crime, then what is?! <laughs> You're so self-righteous. How can you say that?! Aren't you a police officer?! Out of everything you could have been, didn't you specifically choose to join the police? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Just because someone joins the police doesn't make them some kind of agent of justice. You know why I applied? So I could legally carry a gun. That's all. You'd be surprised how many are like that. I thought it would be fun, too. But to tell the truth, that was a wash. Everyone around me was such an idiot. I made one tiny mistake, and they all got on my case and sent me out here to Nowheresville as punishment. I was bored shitless and wondering what to do next when I discovered this power. For crying out loud! Why a bastard like you? A gift for having to put up with this lame job out in Nowheresville, I guess. I did that stuff because I could, and it got interesting, so I watched. That's your reason? You can't be serious! You really don't care what happens to our world? Let's be honest. There's nothing great about the real world, is there? It's just dull and annoying as hell. No one accepts that's the way things are. They're just stuck with it because they can't deny it either. Those who actually succeed in life, they just happen to be born with a magic ticket called talent. If you don't have it, you can either accept or deny that fact until you die. That's your only choice. Once you realize that, all you have left in life is despair. The ultimate game over. Wouldn't it be better if that kind of reality was wiped away? That's complete BS! Brats like you are so damn naive. You piss me off. Listen, you might have hopes and dreams right now, but that's only because you know nothing about reality. One day you'll see. You'll be faced with a boring reality that boxes you in, no matter where you go. You're the only boring thing here! If you want to disappear, go ahead! Stop dragging us into it! <sighs> Stop yelling, punk! I understand you're all afraid and gotta act tough to cover it up, but jeez. I'm telling you all this based on my own experience in life. Think about it for a second. Once everyone turns into shadows, they'll still keep on living, oblivious to all the things around them. So how's that different from the way it is now? No, this'll make things much easier for everyone. Easier? What the hell are you talking about? Come on. How many people out there actually think about what's real, or what's right and wrong? Next to none, I bet. It's useless to think about those things in the first place. 
You don't get anything out of facing reality, and there's no way to change it either. I mean, what could be more boring than brooding over things you can't change? It's better to just ignore them and believe only what you want to believe in life. Doesn't that sound a lot easier? It would be awesome if everyone's life could be that easy. No matter who you are, your lifespan is about 80 years or so, right? Then it'd be easier if we all just became shadows. No need to hold back anything. No more pretending we don't see things. Honestly, we don't need our world anymore. Better to let it be swallowed up and for mankind to turn into shadows. That's what all those people who are scared to death really want. So it's my duty to see that they get it. Nobody wants anything like that! It's just you, dumbass! Jeez, don't you remember what it was like when your shadow came out? It must have been enjoying life far more than you. Be careful! I don't know what's happening! You, you all saw shadows, shadows as mere monsters, monsters didn't you? These things, things move, move on pure instinct. instinct. They, they go, go wild, wild because you defy them. You annoying little brats are the ones who are wanted in the new world. Speak for yourself. Living is too painful for you, but you don't want to die? Of course no one would understand. It makes no sense. You're just throwing a tantrum like a kid who can't have his way. People can't live alone. If you give in and sever your ties to human society, it will naturally become hard to live in it. Yet you refuse to face life and admit your fault, running from your own humanity like a coward. And though you claim to find life troublesome, you cause nothing but trouble for many others. Your twisted logic is that of an immature, egotistic brat. Shut up! Stop trying to act all tough! You guys can't even stand on your own, unless you deny everything I said! Stupid teenagers! You have no idea what kind of shit I've been through! Favored by the world, my ass! I'm gonna say it flat out! You're just a worthless criminal! This will probably be our last battle. Let's hit him with everything we've got!
The world is about to change! Your existence won't belong there! I thought I could just leave you be, but you're like a plague! I'll have to get rid of all of you! Let's do it! If we work together, there's no chance we could lose to a man like this! Shut up! Get lost! Get the hell out of my sight! I can't believe he's the one! That bastard! We can't lose, no matter what! It's a strong one! Don't lower your guard! Soda! <laughs>
Persona! <laughs> Come on down! gonna disappear soon, no matter what. I didn't have anywhere to go back to anyways. Everyone's gonna become shadows. <laughs> what the- All humans will become shadows, and I shall descend upon the united world as the master of order. Descend? Order? What's with this guy all of a sudden? What's happening? Guys, this isn't a dachi. It's someone completely different! Both this world and yours will soon be enclosed in a fog that never lifts. It will be the peaceful world that mankind has longed for. Who are you? I... I am Amino Sagiri, one who rules the fog, one awakened by man's desires. Do what you will, but your world's erosion cannot be stopped. It is an inevitability. You played your part well, stirring up the will of the masses into madness, but that will soon come to an end. Mankind will soon become shadows and live on in the darkness of the fog. Oblivious of their reality. What the hell are you? Why are you doing this? I am the one that shepherds humans to their true desires. Though their hearts longed for peace, it could never be attained. So they tore down the wall between image and reality. Indeed, this is the outcome desired by mankind. And mankind's desires are my desires. That is why I decided to expand this world. You're saying you're the one who created this nasty-ass world? This is part of the sea of unconsciousness that exists within human hearts. A hollow forest born from bloated desire and false imagery. Humans view things as they see fit. They wish not for truth, but rather prefer the undesirables be hidden in fog. Still, humans fear what they cannot see. That brief yearning for truth becomes a ray of light which breaks the fog and torments the shadows. That's why they attack and kill whoever's nearby at that time. A hollow forest. Then... This place isn't simply affected by people's hearts, it actually exists inside them? Mankind abandoned its pursuit of truth, placing itself in the depth of chaos and falsehood. Thus, my strength has grown, and the fog will not lift. 
Your world will be engulfed by the Hollow Forest. Will you shut up already? We'll just use our power to beat the heck out of you and it'll all be over! It was I who made it possible for you to bring about this destiny. I bestowed power onto those who could brave the Hollow Forest. That is what allowed you to come in contact with this world. And you all have done very well since. Bestowed power? Contact with this world? You mean the power to enter the TV? Then the Midnight Channel, was that phenomenon also your doing? Humans fail to see things as they truly are. They choose to see only what they wish. I acted only in support of this. A world filled with desires, viewed through a window from which one sees what one wishes to see. Humans departed from reality of their own volition, craving more false images. A window that shows people what they want to see. So that's why those who got famous suddenly appeared on the Midnight Channel, one after another. It was all in people's minds. I have to say, it must be true. The Midnight Channel we saw in Namatame's hospital room, that kept bothering me since. What we saw there wasn't Namatame's true intentions at all. Then it came on because we were all thinking, this person must be the killer, he can't be forgiven? <laughs> we let ourselves be deluded. Exactly. The more false images one yearns for, the more one stops yearning for reality. And so the forest grows on. That is the expansion of this world. Enough talk already! Long story short, you're the one behind all this! Yeah, I don't know who you are, but you're going down! People want to become shadows? Their desire is your desire? To hell with that! When did we wish for that crap anyways? We kept fighting and fighting like morons to get where we're standing! Yes, that I did not foresee. The ability to master your own shadow that emerged to kill you and use its power. A new and uncertain facet of mankind. Is it worthy to put my trust in? Or not? It must be tested. you want so far, but that'll end when we crush you! Precisely. Then we know what we gotta do now. I don't want people to turn into shadows! We'll defeat it for sure! I'll back you up with everything I've got! This thing has no right to exist! a senseless act which goes against your world's wishes. Now, let everything vanish into the sweet fog of illusion. Let's finish off ugly here. We ain't about to let a gross-looking eyeball do whatever it wants. Uh, it's huge. Let us begin. 